we apologize for that technical hitch. Like I have mentioned, we are looking into the breast cancer, the demand and supply of cancer treatment here in Kenya. And like just I have mentioned, I'm speaking to Jane Francis, as she's a lecturer, JKU at Good Morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, good to have you here. Thank you. Now, uh, there is some statistics in Kenya in mm -hmm. regards to cancer, mm -hmm. uh, how things have been, how things are, and where we're hoping to be, mm -hmm. like uh, globally, this is a uh, 2018 statistics, Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, globally 2018 statistics show that breast cancer incidence is rate in Kenya mm -hmm. is estimated at 40.3%, mm -hmm. uh, with a mortality rate of 17.8%. Mm -hmm. Would you be having uh, statistics how things are in Mm. Then and now, 2020. 2018 to 2020, the actual statistics I may not have right now. Uh, but what I know is that uh, cancer is one is the worst killer at the moment. Actually, much more than COVID. Surprisingly, we seem to have given COVID so much prominent over and above. Yes, it is true when you get COVID, um, you go maybe within a short time and so forth. But we know also you can prevent COVID. Uh, through washing, sanitizing, masking, and doing all these other things. Unfortunately for cancer, we cannot pinpoint exactly what is the cause okay. of cancer, irregardless of whichever part of the country you come with, from, mm -hmm. in uh, Nairobi or uh, up country, it really doesn't matter. But they speak of risk factors, mm -hmm. you know. It could be uh, chemicals, it could be contraceptives, it could be things that we are eating, it could be lifestyle where maybe we are not exercising and so forth. Mm -hmm. But these are only risk factors. But even children who need not have exercised are getting cancer. We have had cases of uh, uh, over 300,000 children in Kenya have it, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, last month we celebrated Childhood Cancer Month, right. and we we discovered that um, is it uh, could it be genetic that these children have? But many of them also have eye cancer, retinoblastoma. Mm -hmm. So the causes of uh, cancer are really not quite known. They are, they are always discovered uh, as risk factors, mm -hmm. which we could just try to prevent. But oh. All right. Now, in the interest of time, there yes. is an article or uh, research that was done in 2018. The article was published on December 3rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. And it showed we have 57% of women mm -hmm. and 43%. Mm -hmm. And maybe um, to try to uh, bring out the, the, the real deal, mm -hmm. uh, men do not know there is men cancer of the breast. Mm -hmm. What we are doing here, mm. we ignore the fact that men can, have can get it. Yeah, is it true they can have cancer? Yes, during my uh, six years of survivorship, mm -hmm. I've met three men who have cancer. Mm -hmm. I met one in KNH, I met another one in a support group, and I met another one uh, just somewhere. He is very private, he doesn't like being known, but they do have. In fact, quite often, if you see a man with a little bit big breast, we don't know whether it's they, they also have some hormonal both. both they could most of the time it's both but one would get sick mm. but they can also get sick both it doesn't matter but the 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 fact is that men also get breast cancer so whatever risk factors that are being mentioned they should even try to avoid even obesity all these hormonal imbalance Perso personally i really discourage the use of uh, chicken on the table as a meal i mean uh, broiled chicken mm. broiler you know they do a lot of injection right. that particular chicken mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, i have a feeling it could be affecting our our young people because mm -hmm. you know cancer cells grow in like 10 years mm -hmm. so you start uh, this teenager uh, you know these are youth uh, tv so you start this young men going for chips every sunday cuckoo you know all that and we we know that that can affect but then of course lack of exercise uh, staying on tv gaming and all these things mm -hmm. so it is possible but I'm not saying that is a cause of for men cancer, but I'm just saying it is, again, another risk factor. Mm -hmm. And let us also know that men get it, and they should also go for screening. Because the earlier it is found at stage zero, stage one, mm -hmm. and the treatment starts, uh, then they, they, can, they can be able to... The chances of survival are quite high. Yeah, quite high. What, what would you say has been the problem of treating cancer? 
the problem of treating cancer is that it is very, very expensive, very expensive to treat. So when somebody is told you have cancer, so of course, number one, you know, most likely you are going to die. First and foremost, you don't have the money. The because it's like, let me say it can cost well over two to three million in a government facility and maybe almost five million in a private facility because the chemotherapies are so expensive. In my days, I think one chemo was 90,000. I don't know how, how much it is, but again, it also depends on each, on different types of cancers. So we, uh, what I would suggest is that the government through the universal health care and the NHIF really tries to subsidize you know, the Ministry of Health should be funded enough such that NHIF can be able to subsidize the treatment costs mm -hmm. of this chemotherapy, of the radiotherapy, mm -hmm. and also the surgery. Uh, surgery usually is not very expensive, but the chemos and the radios are very expensive. When you need several sessions, sometimes, like me, I needed a minimum of six chemos, mm -hmm. a minimum uh, 30 sessions of radio, mm -hmm. and I had two or three surgeries, actually almost seven. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by the time I finish. And so it's very expensive. For quite some, of some while, I have seen even in the house, in the parliament, I have seen the calls to help uh, persons with uh, suffering from cancer and even cancer treatment here in Kenya. Yes. So far, do you think we have the political will to enable us fight cancer in our country, even from the food that we eat? Uh, I don't think so because uh, we have actually had several um, matches to, uh, to parliament. Mm -hmm. We have given petitions. We have even gone to NHIF again pleading for uh, uh, less payment. Mm -hmm. But in as far as parliament is concerned, in fact, you'll only hear them speak about cancer when one of their own right. is sick. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll never hear it. We've tried like three times a year, most of the, until of course Kevin came, mm -hmm. to go with petitions to parliament that they declare cancer a national disaster. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Put, uh, put in place measurements that can be able to stop or whatever these risk factors are, mm -hmm. whether it is the chemicals, do they look at the chemicals, mm -hmm. whether it is smoking, what have they done to stop uh, mm -hmm. uh, BAT, right. you know, controlling, mm -hmm. whether it is drinking, liver cancer, mm -hmm. liver cancer is killing many men. Mm, especially you know? young people. Especially young people, mm -hmm. because they d drink this hard stuff not knowing the repercussions it has on their health. Right. What does the government do mm -hmm. to the beer industry? You know? Now, uh, looking into how, what the gov government should be doing or the government should do, yes. we have seen uh, non-communicable diseases like, uh, say, TB being treated for free. Yes. Uh, we are, uh, not even TB, I mean, we have seen them being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Now, can we get to a point whereby yes. cancer treatment in Kenya could yes. be considered a free uh, fee when you go to either screening or for the treatment of your cancer, mm. can we have a policy whereby anyone who has cancer in our country can mm. be treated for free? No, the, 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 the bills, uh, parliament can be able to, to push those bills. And I know there are, there are several ladies. I think there is Gladys Wanga and there is this, um, mm. is it women rep from uh, Laikipia? Mm. They've been trying to uh, pass <laughs> some bills which can lead us to, uh, which can lead government to declare it a national disaster and therefore put in place mm -hmm. enough funding enough um, uh, personnel mm -hmm. to to really work at ensuring that first of all when the screening is well done the treatment is also, and even more doctors are treated mm -hmm. you know all this have to be put in place and then of course the government must budget enough in so that now treatment. they pay for the medication. I think some of it is actually important. Mm -hmm. We don't have it here. So the government just has to pump in much more money there, as they did, for example, for HIV. And mm -hmm. then they also look for support. Because today I think HIV is free. So if they could uh, do that for HIV, why can't they do it for cancer? And it's maybe possible. the HIV, is uh, they have more people than uh, the cancers. Now let's talk about someone who has cancer already. Mm -hmm living with it, controlling it, managing it. Yes. Uh, you'll be going for chemos and getting other medications. Mm. How else can you help yourself yes. knowing it's yeah. expensive to treat cancer? Do you have okay. alternatives? 
There are alternatives. Uh, let me say there are alternatives, but uh, I may not say they should be the only ones to be taken mm -hmm. and not do the conventional treatment. Right. So, for example, in my case, I have what is called triple negative breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So, with triple negative breast cancer, yes, you can do chemo, mm -hmm. radio, and surgery. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, for me now to maintain uh, the cancer cells that they don't grow, I need to be on herbals and supplements, mm -hmm. uh, which can be able to help me to suppress the cancer cells from growing mm -hmm. and of course somebody else who may not have because there are people who don't have and mm -hmm. they go for the alternative medicines right. they will go to different uh, herbal doctors mm -hmm. what i don't know is that how 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 can i say that the tree you know there is no measurement right so i would not say don't do it because if you have no other alternative then it is better to do it then you have to look for the right doctor which who can be able to maybe mm -hmm. uh, measure the best for me i take supplements in terms of just herbs from the garden for example i take a lot of local vegetables mm -hmm. managu suga all those you know mm -hmm. saga there is a temisia which i have seen madagascar has been taking mm -hmm. tanzania yeah, maybe before you explain them all yes, yes. Uh, uh, who, who recommended them how did you know I they read, can help for me i read i choose to read and i watch news mm -hmm. and i could see that um, Tanzania and Madagascar and Liberia were able to even contain mm -hmm. the COVID. The people have not died as much. So for me, even yesterday, just yesterday, mm -hmm. the president of Madagascar has got now tablets mm -hmm. of, of anti-COVID, CVO, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they are really helping there. So I think every, uh, every country should also, um, and especially for us here, mm -hmm. promote uh, the herbal doctors who know indigenous medicines that were used, mm -hmm. you know, by our grandparents. They were there. Actually, they were living longer than us. Mm -hmm. So those indigenous par uh, plants, vegetables, and, and, and whatever that they were using can be used. Of course, there are also others. But you see, the ones from outside can be very expensive. This is one of them, pig. Mm -hmm. I have to, buy, to take pig so that to boost my immunity. These ones, they speak, they shield, and so many. Mm -hmm. There are others we buy from Healthy You. Mm -hmm. Most of them cost over 5000 Right. So they are very expensive. Mm -hmm. But you see now these are from the West, they are measured. And so, so I know the dosage. Mm -hmm. But these others from uh, uh, out there, I have to do guesswork mm -hmm. and hope that when I take Artemisia, when I take Baobab, when I take Shia seeds mm -hmm. per glass, mm -hmm. every day I'm able to. Uh, to boost my immunity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, let me say, not say so much, guess what, because there is also, <laughs> <laughs> there is also the Dr. Gugu, mm -hmm. who we really, uh, rely on. Mm -hmm. So, um, let us also continue to study on our own mm -hmm. and help ourselves. But still, the government can encourage our uh, mm -hmm. doctors, our our herbal, uh, because there seems to be some tension mm -hmm. between the, the herbal world and the conventional medicine world. Uh, no, no, yes. you, you, you see, if we're looking into the supply of cancer uh, in Kenya, mm -hmm. we have it even in the rural areas. Yes. Uh, we have even the vulnerable families getting cancer. You yes. just mentioned about the children. Yes. Uh, l uh, last month, you're looking into that. Yes. But now, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm interested in the habits that you're using yes. because you'll be helping someone else who yes. is not able for the chemos who is not able to go by the uh conventional way of treatment mm -hmm. these habits how you have been using them for how long yes. and uh, do you think they have been helpful to you yes uh for me okay i started using as i said if you can afford mm -hmm. do the conventional medicine first do the chemotherapy because it's very strong. Mm -hmm. They say it's a poison that kills the cancer cells and shrinks the tumors. Mm -hmm. uh, the sessions, you are told six or ten or eight. I don't know some people. I have one patient mm -hmm. who has just got 18 of them, mm -hmm. 18 sessions. So whatever you have to do with the doctor, do first because it works. But then after that, mm -hmm. somebody once told me, I wanted to take an insurance. And somebody said, we won't give you. I said, why? Because cancer, you will never cure from cancer. In fact, you ask because it's stage three B at out of Kisha, Uta Maliza Imwaka. The naysayers. The six years, yes, <laughs> the naysayers. Six years down the line, I'm, I'm there. Mm -hmm. I have, as I've said, I, uh, I take Artemisia since 2017. I had a surgery that couldn't heal. Mm -hmm. So every time I would take uh, that, like most of them, I take mm -hmm. three days. Okay. What I, I consider, for example, Artemisia, the whole of 2017 up to this time of COVID. Mm -hmm. These others, whenever I'm taking water, I put I put my baobab, I take my shea seeds, I put in the water. Mm -hmm. Others like lemon, ginger, turmeric, 
which I think all of us know for the common cold, eh? mm -hmm. that is also go very good in fighting cancer because like turmeric also helps to control uh, your blood levels and uh, the, the, it has antioxidants. The ginger also is able to mm -hmm. cleanse your, your, your esophagus and the chest, you know, to clear it eh? All right. so that you avoid now uh, things that you see cancer uh, ca like breast can metastasize to the lungs if, there's, if it finds some weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So all these um, herbs as we know them and I would recommend everybody uses daily. The, it's like it's plants. It, it'll be helpful. It doesn't have um, like you can take too much. All right. I'll but of course it's always good to, to do some uh, kind of moderation and if possible plan for yourself uh, without yeah. chemicals. All right. Thank you. I want to, to bring in uh, the uh, the other guest, thank you so much for joining us. Though a bit late, we are running out of time, but we have to hear from you. How are you, Damaris? Mm -hmm. Welcome to I254 TV. Now, we are looking into the breast cancer, how things have been in Kenya, the treatment, the troubles that have been there, and the calls that uh, the people have been calling for the cancer treatment and making sure there is enough awareness in our country. Maybe briefly you could mention about your story. Okay, I'm diagnosed in 2012. I'm Kwenye titi. Mm -hmm. So nilipopata results niliona kuwa kansa. Mimi sasa ninakufa kwa sababu nimepata cases. Watu kwetu kule nyumbani kuna anti yangu alikufa nayo hapa. Mm -hmm. uh, shingo alikuwa amefura. Hawako wanaelewa kansa ni nini. Mm -hmm. Lakini wakati muda uliposonga nikakuja kushuhudia anti zangu pia wawili wakafa na breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Mimi nikaficha hiyo siri nikasema sitaambia mtu na nikararua results nikakaa na hiyo hali nikakaa na hiyo hali mpaka 2014 nikapata stroke out of pressure kwa sababu ya hiyo lamp nilikuja kukaa nayo 2017 ndio ilikuja ika ikapasukia hapa ikatoka tu so si kwenda hospitali nilikuwa ninatumia garlic na ponda garlic ninaweka hapo ninafunga na alternate usiku naweka garlic mchana ninaweka ginger naweka turmeric na kunywa yani ilikuwa tu kama wazimu kwa sababu nilikuwa najua ninakufa mm -hmm. na si kuwa na uwezo wa kwenda hospitali nikawa natumia hizo hizo madawa za kienyeji na Mungu ni mwema kwa sababu iliweza kukauka hiyo kidonda so nikaenda Medanta Hospital kutaka kujua about hii hali yeah. mammogram mm -hmm. nika pimwa lakini sikuenda kuchukua results siku hiyo kesho yake nilipochukua results mm -hmm. pia nikaipasua sababu sikuwa nataka mtu wajue mm -hmm. nilikuwa najua mimi sasa ninakufa lakini mm -hmm. katika hiyo hali Mm -hmm. Nimekuwa naendelea tu kunywa hizo madawa, naendelea tu kunywa hizo madawa. Ndio juzi nikakutana na Jen. Wakati COVID pandemic ilitokea, sikuwa na uwezo, sikuwa na chakula na watoto ndani ya nyumba. Amenisaidia sana. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa anazunguka kila mahali kutafuta chakula. Mm -hmm. Na hakikisha kwamba tumepata chakula. Okay. Lakini sasa nikawa namuelezea Mimi niko tu na results ambazo nilimekuwa nikienda kupimwa mm -hmm. lakini the real results nilikuwa napasua kwa sababu nilikuwa na uoga mm -hmm. kuwa watu watanitenga kwa sababu niko na kansa nilikuwa ninaona enzi za nyuma mtu akiwa na ukimu mm -hmm. akigunduliwa kwa na ukimu watu wanaanza kumtenga hata sahani mm -hmm. hawezi tumia mm -hmm. so mimi nikaficha watu hawa kuwa na jua kitu gani inanisumbua nimekaa na hiyo hali nikaja nikamwelezea amekuwa msaada wangu sana mm. wa karibu kwa chakula mm. kwa mawaida mm. kaniambia sasa what you do tutahapo kufanya hiyo mammogram test tena tuone kama hizo cells bado ziko kwa mwili na NHIF yangu ilikuwa haifanyi kazi mm. juzi nikamwambia sasa 
um, sijui nitafanya nini kwa sababu NHIF yangu haifanyi kazi mm. na sina access ya hospitali. Mm. So niko tu inaendelea na garlic, ginger. Yaani vitu kali kali tu. Mm. Hata ziliwahi niletea ulcers. Nimelazwa hospitali kama mara tatu. Hebu nikukatize kidogo ukitumia garlic na ginger, uh, nani alikuwa amekuelekeza zinaweza saidia? Nikusoma tu kwa mtandao. Oh, okay. Ninasoma kwa mtandao. Mm -hmm. Na wakati ulikuwa unazitumia wewe ulikuwa na feel zinakufaidi. Zina Ili nisaidia. Okay. Kwa sababu hii side moja ilikuwa inauma sana. Ninapokunywa hizo dawa ninapopaka maumivu yanaisha, uchungu unaisha. So 2019 nikaanza tu kukauka mwili. Nikakauka kutoka hapa mpaka huku juu. Kuna mahali nilikuwa ninafanya kibarua nilikuwa naitwa kibarua ya salo mm -hmm. nikawa naenda pale so 2019 wakaniambia waniweke chemical kwa kichwa mm -hmm. nywele zote zikangoka nilienda tu kununua chemical hapo the next shop nywele zote zikangoka kwa kichwa so aka create enemity na mwenye duka akasema mm -hmm. mwenye duka analeta analeta chemicals fake oh. na mimi ndani yangu nilijua ni kitu gani oh, yeah. waka ni press enda polisi ustaki umama mm. ama kupatia chemical fake ambayo meingua nyolezo te kwa kichwa yako lakini mimi si kuenda si kuenda mkushitaki mm -hmm. na tukawa tuna relationship nzuri kwake na yeye mm. akasema nitaenda mali ninunua hizi dawa ni confirm akaenda na haka confirm watu watu wenye walipaka hizo chemicals mm -hmm. hazi kuwa affect oh. ni mimi peke yangu mm -hmm. so nikaendelea tu na hizo madawa huu mwaka ndio nikaanza kuona sasa mwili imebadilika mm hiyo -hmm. kukauka imeisha hata mm -hmm. huku kwa titi ilikuwe mekauka kabisa ikaanza kukauka mm -hmm. so niko tu Mm. Sasa, kwa ajili ya muda, um, amount of time drain, mm -hmm. uh, we are supposed to end at 10. I'm hoping that my director will give us at least two minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this has been her problem, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's a problem of many. Yes. Creating awareness, mm -hmm. and when they know, coming forth to mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. Now, you helped her come out of her situation, mm -hmm. and accepting this is what she is uh, mm -hmm. going through. Mm -hmm. And a majority of people go through that. I'm mm -hmm. sure you have had a number of them. Mm -hmm. Creating awareness and yeah. helping someone to come out of it it's not something easy mm. as we conclude this yes. interview mm. uh, what call would you making out there okay so I would want to uh, tell um, all our listeners wherever you are please let us not stigmatize somebody mm -hmm. because they have had cancer or COVID in these days also because many true. are being stigmatized you can't use the same plate even in the house you have to be isolated Yes, you can isolate, especially COVID, because it is infectious. Right. But cancer is not infectious. I cannot get it from you. Maybe cervical, but not breast. So let us be there for each other. Let us support mm -hmm. members of the families who have it, and both financially, mm -hmm. and also, as I said, as she has said, with food. Mm -hmm. You see, with, when there was COVID, there was no food. People couldn't work. Right. So I went out of my way to reach out to... Uh, friends, relatives, families, and thank God, since March, I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank everyone mm -hmm. who has come out with their 100, 500, and supported these cancer patients. We have over 100 of them in Kangemi, mm -hmm. even like there are two. One I even was to come with her, but you see, not everybody also likes to come out in the open That's and true. and speak yeah it's yeah. not easy mm -hmm. some of us i thank god i don't mind speaking for others mm -hmm. because that can also give them uh, a chance to survive the theme for this breast cancer month is give hope save lives so let us go out there and give hope on 24th of october you can come and join us and meet all these cancer patients bring us ugali uh, we have a pay bill number mm -hmm. 514422 Send a, a kilo of ugali or two, and we shall give each one of them something. Mm -hmm. So that at least they can cushion themselves against the effects that mm -hmm. come with too much mm -hmm. 
treatment chemotherapy radio or even what he's saying mm -hmm. uh, use of the those ginger and those who know about uh, how much ginger or how much herbal you can use also come out and support and help others because everything has to be taken in moderation but sure. in her case she had no alternative mm -hmm. she had no nhif we are trying to help her get six thousand per year maybe nothing for somebody maybe somebody's lunch maybe you could go out and she's not the only one i have more than that, let's say a thousand cancer patients mm -hmm. even here in Nairobi, though we have cancer survivors association in kenya mm -hmm. and we have many others who need just to pay this six thousand so that they can even access all these mammograms and all these other tests right. that you continually need to do every three months six months to monitor because as i told you cancer even when you do chemo just mm -hmm. goes in remission is not necessarily gone so you have to keep monitoring and if it tries to come you mm -hmm. get the right uh, medicine there are also others who take medicine uh, hormonal therapy every day like i have a lady mm -hmm. uh, in kawangware she can't afford she needs five thousand four thousand eight hundred to buy medication for her month mm -hmm. because they have to take a uh, man uh, tamoxifen uh, others take some uh, some of the medicine has side effects on the bones mm -hmm. so they're having issues all right so all these challenges are uh, challenges cancer patients uh, go through and they need a lot of support from the members of the family from friends but particularly from the government mm -hmm. let us see what is this universal health care is mm -hmm. and, and how it is really do. helping people mm -hmm. with cancer and other ncds I, I want you to do two things yes. one you yes. said come where will you be and yes. number two yes repeat the payable number slowly okay Yes. So we shall be at St. Paul's Chapel University Chapel. It's mm -hmm. just at the roundabout of the university on Saturday the 24th of October and it will be from 9 to 1 p.m. And we are appealing for food. We are appealing for this uh, support to buy these prosthesis. When your breast is removed, you, mm -hmm. you, you feel, you know, you are not longer a woman. Yeah. So when we are able to get a little money, we are able to make this and also buy uh, for, especially new cancer patients. Mm -hmm. Also some of them, when they don't have hair, they need to cover you know uh, yeah. the head yeah. because when you do chemo every the hair goes out right. so for that period you know it's difficult to deal with but also as a health uh, preventive uh, from getting colds especially when it's raining and it's good to cover your head yeah. so we need to help buy them such things warm clothing so that they are able to manage mm -hmm. so the pay bill number is 514422 and the account is CA breast cancer breast CA breast mm -hmm. whatever or just write your name but the important thing is pay bill number 514422 all right thank you. thank you so much for coming apparently we didn't have enough time to talk about this matter conclusively yeah. um hoping everything will be all right i'm yeah. wishing you the very best and if you're out there and you've had the call please do what you can do to help our people out there um, thank you so much for being part of us back home and thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. my name is adereva hillary she has been my guest or they have been my guest damaris and jenna francis she's a lecturer at jku at at this point we conclude our interview this morning trust you will be enjoying your day and i'm wishing you the very best day when you go out there do what you do to get the best of you my name is deva hillary goodbye